Hi everyone, I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt from WargamingRecon.com, the longest running New England and historical wargaming, tabletop gaming, wargaming podcast on the planet. That's right, in existence we've been around longer than anyone else. And I'm here with you today because I want to talk about something that I think you might enjoy. It's a very limited time only sale, but you can buy it even after the sale. It's a brand new book, a PDF actually, and I'm going to be pulling it up for you. It's on sale for $2.49 for a limited time only, and it is actually quite nice. So it is a title, as I look at you, released by Gladius Publications, which is a publishing firm by the one and only Mr. Henry Hyde. He's been on the show before as a guest. We've talked about Gladius, and he is releasing these new titles as a way to, of course, release his own work, because he is an author, but also to give people an affordable way to get other PDFs and books. So the one I want to talk about today that I want to highlight for you is called Wellesley versus, versus Junot in Portugal 1808. It's by author Mick Sace. We have it right here as you get all that glare. Sorry about that. <laughs> And you see my screen. Here we go. We go back a little bit. Uh, and it is a really nice looking book. I was showing it to you on my Kindle. Here's your table of contents, which you can't see so well. Um, I did not think of the glare. I'm very sorry about that. As we uh, try to angle it for you. So we have all sorts of stuff here. And um, it looks really good it's hard for you to see such a thing here we go with the glare it's nicely laid out it was easy to get onto my kindle it has a lot of really good information for anyone who's into napoleonics i gotta say i'm not someone who's really into napoleonics here but i thought why the heck not i know it's going to be quality because henry does really good work he's a fantastic editor really great at layout and design it's affordable enough for just two dollars and 49 cents american on sale normally i think 2.99 and if you are a subscriber to the gladys publications newsletter there's a coupon code as well so you get an extra 20 percent off which brings it down to a buck 99. who doesn't have a spare dollar 99. i mean i think we all do so you can pick it up and get it and read it on your kindle again right here on my kindle I don't know about you, but as a Wargamer dad, I don't have a whole lot of time to read physical books. So you can see right behind me, I got all these books here, right? And over there too, other books and things. And actually, speaking of Henry, here's one that he's done. And it's a physical book. And this is a gorgeous book. This is you know, a nice big coffee table book. As something falls out of it, and all must be my bookmark um, for it. But I don't get to read his book very much because I get a two-year-old, and it's hard to find time with a two-year-old to get a book like this and open it up and dig into it and everything. But digital, I can do. So this makes hard. This sits here so that when I do videos, you can see it here, and I can promote Henry's stuff because I love his stuff. I really do. And I think his stuff is amazing. But unfortunately, like I said, it's hard to read physical books. So I'm increasingly going to more digital. I think a lot of us are. So you can get a digital copy of this new publication. You can put it here. A lot of information. I think it's going to be very informative for a novice like myself when it comes to Napoleonics to learn a little bit more about it. And for those of us who know more, I think maybe we might find a new angle at it, something that we didn't know before. And from the newsletter, actually, I'm just going to read you a little blurb about the book to kind of um, tell you a little bit more about it. And Henry refers to it as a, a booklet or a pamphlet, which is to say it's not the coffee table tome like you saw back there. It's shorter, more in line with like the Osprey Publishing Men at Arms or campaign kind of series, or um, I think they call them Vanguard, things like that. So in his description, he says, quote, by 1807, Napoleon's enforcement of a non-trade impact and coastal blockade of Britain known as the continental system stretched from russia in the baltic right around the northern coast of europe and all the way down to the coast of spain 
moves on to say that Portugal was the only country still openly training with this ally Britain, and Napoleon wanted to move forces down to stop that. So he sent General Genot, along with his 25,000 strong corps of observation, to occupy the country as soon as possible and stop the trade. Meanwhile, in England, the implacable enemy of the upstart Napoleon plans were afoot to return Portugal to being a trading partner. A relatively unknown and recently promoted officer, Lieutenant General Arthur Wellesley, was ordered to take command of a 9,000-man expeditionary force, which had originally been intended for South America, but was instead ordered to Portugal to join up with a further 5,000 troops coming from Gibraltar. Wellesley and his small army landed in Portugal in August 1808 and the Peninsula War now began in earnest. This 32-page booklet covers the campaign in detail, focusing on two famous battles that proved the superiority of the British line over the French attack column. I'm going to ruin the names by my terrible pronunciation, but he's referring to the Battle of Rolica and Vimiero. It says what took place within four days of one another. With excellent maps, detailed orders of battle, which are very important to any war gamer, along with historian, a list of the key military personalities involved, and a special mention of the British secret weapon, spherical case shot. There is much here of interest to both military historians and war gamers. As I said, on sale now for $2.49 American. And if you are a member or a subscriber to the Gladius Publications e-newsletter, and you should be, you get a 20% off coupon that expires July 6th. And if you're not a member, sign up for Gladius's email newsletter because you get a couple free gifts, actually, if you do. And I believe they're both um, his trans squares that Henry has created. They're very nice, and they're for free that you get as being a member of his email newsletter. And I believe that's what both of the gifts are. I might be incorrect on that. Um, I know at least one of them is a train squares, um, his collection for that. And I honestly cannot remember what the second one is, but it might be his battle maps collection, uh, which were also really good. So anyway, just wanted to give you that first look at the Arthur Wellesley title there. And I think you will enjoy it. Something that you could get a good handle on. And you don't have to spend too much time, but you can kind of dive back into the period. Very accessible. Easy to read, and I, I got to tell you, before I picked it up, and I was like, I got it. I wanted to get it on my Kindle. I actually contacted Henry. I, I replied to his email. Henry is very responsive when it comes to customer service. He's amazing. I said, Henry, it's a PDF. It's not Kindle format, right? So I want to read it on my Kindle, but how can I do it without sideloading it? Because I don't want to have to put it like on a thing or plug my Kindle into the computer. Like that's crazy, right? No. Nowadays, so Henry went out and he got some information from me. He emailed it to me, video tutorials and stuff. It was super easy. So I know not everyone has a Kindle. Uh, you might have another uh, e-reader, you might have an iPad, or you might read it on your uh, computer or you know on your phone or something. Um, but if you read it on your Kindle, it's really easy. Once you buy it from Henry, you'll get a download link. You just download it to your computer and then you email it to your device. Your device has an email address. Who knew? And I mean, I guess I should have, but I didn't. So email it to yourself here, and it'll show up eventually on your device. And if you don't know what your email address is for your device, as I did not know, the easy way to do it is on your Kindle, and you can't see so well. But you go to Docs, which should be on your home screen. And then if you click on Send to Kindle, it should have a thing that will give your email address. And so you just um, see what that is, and you'll be able to use that to send it to yourself. And that's a good way to send documents, any kind of document really, but PDFs in particular, that you purchased directly to your Kindle. So you just email it to that email address, and after like about well, five minutes or so, they will show up on your Kindle device, and you can start reading. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you pick up Henry's new publication from Gladys Publications, which is his publishing firm. And we'll have links in the description below so that you can get that and access it. So thank you very much for watching this.
And you know the deal. Keep on gaming.